Good morning, everybody. This is V from Cute Kitchen and Beyond, and I've got another very small grocery haul. Um, the first item is actually a substitution. I had ordered uh, Great Value blue recycling bags, and the reason I ordered these is because I've been using up my contractor bags, which are very expensive and very big, and they don't fit in our recycling bin. So, um, I was asked to put them in smaller containers, so I bought these instead. Um, these recycling drawstring bags are actually $2.88 a piece for 20 Not bad, I guess. Um, the next item is Cafe Bustillo Espresso-style dark roast ground coffee. 10 ounce brick, $2.88. Now this is going to be used for making a recipe that I saw on um, Alaska Prepper and I'm going to go ahead and do that and use this for it. This is also by the way, this is Rudy's favorite coffee. I used to drink it all the time too until I found my U-Bun. Um, <laughs> so the next item on our list is an accident. Um, I, I forgot that these were in my grocery cart and I ordered them on another, um, another order and forgot to take these off of the grocery cart that I had. So I now have two more U-Bon Dark Roast Bold ground coffee, 25.3 ounce canister, and they're $6.28 a piece, so two of them came to $12.56, and that will definitely go in my prepper pantry. Um, the next item is, yes, more milk. Um, I've been drinking a lot of milk because I've been making a lot of uh, milkshakes. So this is my Fairlife milk. It's lactose free. It is ultra pasteurized, so it's naturally lactose free. 2% milk. And this is $3.22 for 52 ounces, which is pretty much half a gallon. Um, it is more expensive than regular milk, but when you have lactose issues, as I do, it's worth the money. Um, that's all I have to say about that. I also bought two packets of Pioneer Country Gravy Mix. They're 2.75 ounces and they're 98 cents a piece. So they're $1.96 and these will go in my regular pantry with my sauce mixes. The next item is more microwave meals, but these are healthy microwave meals. So the first one is the Main Street Creamy Rigatoni with Chicken and Broccoli. No preservatives and it has 260 calories, 2 grams of saturated fat, 590 grams or milligrams of sodium, and 4 grams of total sugars. So much better for me than the Hungry Man's. Oh that is 96 cents and I don't I haven't tried any of these before that's why I only got one each um, the next item is Lean Cuisine herb roasted chicken it's got 18 grams of protein and 180 calories it's gluten free and it contains half a cup of vegetables it's got one gram of saturated fat I'm trying to get away from that glare just a second Ah, much better so <laughs> as I was saying it's got four grams of total sugar and 18 grams of protein and this is two dollars and 48 cents the next item is a Marie Collender's frozen dinner now this probably isn't nearly as good for me as the others but I really like Chinese food so and I've tried this one before it's really good so it's the Marie Collender's Sweet and Sour Chicken, frozen meal, 14 ounces. It has 17 grams of protein, 
550 calories, 2.5 grams of saturated fats, uh, 1,060 milligrams of sodium, so that's not really the best, but that's only 48% of your daily values of sodium, and then it has 28 grams of total sugars. So, not the best for me and my diabetic self, but it's just pretty much more of a special treat. Okay, the next item is Innovations General Sal's Frozen General Sal's Chicken Frozen Asian Meal, 18, um, 18 ounces. And it has 13 grams of protein. Doesn't tell you how much sugar. Uh, 1.5 grams of saturated fats. There we go. Cholesterol, 40 milligrams. Sodium is 960. Um, sugar is 35 grams. So, yeah. Again, special treat. <laughs> Not something you're going to eat on a regular basis. Now, here's the Healthy Choice Cafe Steamer Sweet and Sour Chicken. Oh. The General Sal's. Sorry about that. The General Sal's is $5.38. Okay. Now we can move to the Healthy Choice. Simply Steamer's. Sweet and sour chicken. This is 10 ounces, but it's only $2.52. And it has 390 calories, 2 grams of saturated fat, 550 gram, milligrams of sodium, and 22 grams of total sugars. So, not really the healthiest thing, is it? Healthy choice, my high knee. Anyways, we're going to try this because I've never had this one before. This one is $2.52. Then we go to the Lean Cuisine, and that dog's getting into something again. Lean Cuisine, Chicken Parmesan Frozen Meal, it's 2.875 ounces, and it has 21 grams of protein, 380 calories, 4 grams of saturated fats, 807 milligrams of sodium, 8 grams of total sugar, so that's a little bit better. 21 grams of protein and 210 milligrams of calcium, so that's fairly decent. And this one is $2.48. Now, we go to another healthy choice, Simply Steamers. That noise you're hearing is my dog getting into something. So, yeah, he got into another one of my planters. Now he thinks I want to play with him. Um, <laughs> look at him. Look at him. I don't want to play with you. I'm mad at you. Simply Steamers. <laughs> oh, goodness. Grilled Chicken and Broccoli Alfredo Frozen Meal. It's 9.15 ounces. It has... 190 calories, 2.5 grams of saturated fat, 600 milligrams of sodium, so that's a little bit better, and only 2 grams of total sugar, so that's better. Um, that's 258. Then I wanted to try out some Atkins. Um, the Atkins. Roasted turkey with garlic mashed cauliflower instead of potatoes. 6 grams of net carbs, 22 grams of protein. How many sugars? I think that says 3. 2 grams of sugar, so that's not too bad. And 22 grams of protein, but I think I already said that. This one is $3.48, so it is a little more expensive, but it has a lot less sugar than the other, some of the others. And then the next one is meatloaf with portobello mushroom gravy. And this one has 9 grams of net carbs, 24 grams of protein, 
and let me see what the sugar is on this thing. Two grams of sugar, so that's not bad at all. I might um, switch over if I like the taste of those to the Atkins. The Atkins are three forty-eight a box, so they are more expensive, but they're a little better for you. So I was cleaning up, and I realized I only had two trash bags left. Um, so in a panic, that's what actually spurred me making the Walmart um, order. Uh, so <laughs> I have 13-gallon trash bags in my house, and this is 80 bags. There, I usually get the 120 bags, but they didn't have that available to buy online. Um, very bizarre. I have no idea. But anyways... So these are $9.74 and they are the great value and I chose to get the kind that didn't have the scent in them even though the scent is pretty much the same price. Um, so that is that. And another item that I forgot was in my <laughs> grocery cart when I decided to go ahead and add these items to a grocery cart that was just sitting there um, would be more buckets. So now I have six lids that I can't find in my house. I put them in the safe place. And um, that seems to be an ongoing theme in my family. Um, now I have nine buckets and six lids. <laughs> and they were out of the lids. So I didn't order lids. But I at least have three extra buckets. And, thank you to my gardener, I bought some, woo, sorry about that, my dog put his toy under my foot, um, some soft pine bedding, um, and this is actually not for my hamster, um, this is to mulch all my plants. Later today, I'm going to do a video where I put the diatomaceous earth all over my plants to kill the evil fungus gnats and aphids and the little red spider mites. So, yes, I have a variety of little pests living in my plants and probably what's killing my little seedlings. So, that's what this is for. And I believe that is the end of our haul. Look at that. I told you it was a short one today. Altogether, it came to... $78.09. I don't know if you can see that. $78.09. Alrighty, so I will be back later. I have an in-home appointment at 1, but I'm going to try and get um, these things put up. And then I will start on my diatomaceous earth killing of the garden pest problem video. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.